My father wanted only two things, straight A's and a straight son. These were the two non-negotiables in our relationship, the two unforgivable shortcomings that would not be tolerated. Social acceptance was of the utmost importance, a standard by which all decisions must be made. Any deviation was quickly corrected. My father never even had to say a word. I learned quickly that I was not to express my socially unacceptable traits. Despite the fact that I still felt compelled to share them, they were not a welcome conversation. So I started to write. I wrote down everything. Everything I saw, everything I felt or questioned and wanted to share but couldn't. I also learned, if I was to keep my father on my side, and eventually just his wallet, I needed to at least appear to be a willing participant in his way of life. My first arranged date, I was 15. I'm sure the enamored look I wore as we scarfed our cheeseburgers was a sign of hope. I never told them it wasn't the girl who captured my attention, but the boy in the booth behind her. Although I could never grow one on my face, finding a beard for every dance and social event was a simple enough task. Girls in a small town are easily wooed. They would get money, sometimes jewelry, always a nice dinner at the best restaurant in town, which admittedly isn't saying much. All I asked for in return was to be popular and to carry the reputation of a proud, but maybe a little handsy philanderer. These were the advantages of having wealthy parents who needed social acceptance more than they needed a well-adjusted son. As soon as I graduated, I couldn't wait to get out. I moved far enough away so I was out of sight, but not far enough from the financial support. I didn't know what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I only knew who I wanted to do. I'm telling you, man. With the right takeoff pattern, I can clear 10 feet easy this time. If you need to take a break from studying, please, please, please go run the track. Recite a sonnet in the commons. Go to the shower and jack off. But do not, for the love of God, jump out of that window. Oh, you do care. No, I don't. I just don't want to take you to the hospital again. I have a physics midterm tomorrow, and some of us need to study. Mark, if you don't stop studying for like, a minute, the molecules in your brain are gonna start racing away from each other until your brain matter literally expands beyond the cranial cavity and all over the walls. Who's gonna clean that up, Mark? We both know that's your thing. And how are we gonna get rid of the body? Okay, nobody's calling the wolf, Mark. My dad's rich, but he's not Marcellus Wallace rich. We're just gonna have to grind your body up into hot dog paste feed it to the students on meal plan. You are seriously disgusting. No wonder people are afraid of you. No, they're just jealous of me. Justin Johnson. Studying? Right now. Staying out of trouble? Of course. 
Keeping your nose clean. Sparkling, sir. Watch it. I'm sorry. I'd hate to have to cut you off, Justin. I know you would. Straight A's. Not a question. As always, sir. And the other? Under control. It better be Justin. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Studying. Right now. Finals in six weeks. I'll call back. Talk then. Good night. Justin. As I was saying, my parents support and encourage my journey of the soul. I'm pretty sure your soul doesn't reside in your pants, since that's the only part of you that has had any journey. I can't help it if I'm irresistible. Uh, well, you and your soul need to get out of here so I can study and you can go find yourself. No soul finders tonight. And I don't feel like flying solo. Aw. Did you develop carpal tunnel? I warned you. <laughs> I know, and I appreciate all the times you tried to step in as a pinch hitter, but the grip on the bat? It's not so good for a home run slugger. Asshole. <laughs> get out of here. By your command. My fellow countrymen. Shut up, Justin. It is with great regret and a heavy heart, I must inform you that I will travel to a faraway place tonight to satisfy my soul. Then do it already. A place where only those of the highest intellect. Questionable. Superior looks. Now I just know you're talking about me. And an unwavering thirst to find the human soul. Or a decent piece of ass. Or a decent piece of ass. Thank you, Sire Tobin. And so, I travel to the great unknown. Jump already and put us out of our misery. What a world. What a cruel, cruel, cruel world. I added that third cruel to avoid plagiarism. How thoughtful. Jump! 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 People have spoken, Sire Tobin. I must take my leave of you now. Fuck! needing the services of your noble steed this night. Are you shitting me? I am most definitely not shitting you, sir. I do feel the th pain of a thousand burning suns searing my leg, but good. God damn it, shit. You know, this is why freshman year lotteries for roommates is a bad idea. Your college experience would have been so dull without me. Stay there, I'll be right down. Where would I go? Asshole. <laughs> okay, so I don't write everything down. Sometimes I jump out of a window. Sometimes I laugh when I should cry. Like Heinlein said, we laugh because it's the only thing that will stop it from hurting. Well, that and painkillers. Mr. Johnson, you seem to have had an accident. Dustin. And who are you, Michael R.N.? You must be new. No, I'm not new. I just drew the short straw. <laughs> Cute and clever. What a rare combination. Mm. So what happened, Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson is my father's name. I think I'm a little young to be a Mr. Anybody, don't you? You can call me Justin. I think we're pretty much the same age. We're the exact same age, actually. What happened? Apparently they don't make tree limbs like they used to. Mm. Wait, if we're the same age, how do you get to be a nurse? Doesn't that take like 12 years of college or something? Or Are you Doogie Hauser? Apparently you missed the common sense portion of the tree limb surfing class. Doogie Hauser is a fictional teenage doctor. I'm a real life nurse. I skipped high school, went to college at 16, graduated when I was 20. Wow, that's <clears throat> impressive. I didn't even know you could do that. So, you jumped out of a window. Truth. Into a tree. Truth. And the limb broke. Truth, wow, you know, you're really good at this game, Michael R.N. Are you in any pain? Just right here. Uh, you're having chest pain? My heart <clears throat> stops when you look at me. 
Did you just quote a Lady Gaga song to me? <sighs> Katy Perry, dude, how do you not know that? <sighs> you say that like she's Judy Garland. Are you having any leg pain? Nice deflection, Michael R.N. I took some T3 on the way over, so I guess I'm like a six on the pain scale. Should I be impressed or worried about your knowledge of our pain scale? Or the fact that you have T3 in stock? I just seem to be accident prone. Is that what we're calling it now? I just miss you all so much. A tough way to get friends. I just figure it's easier than actually sending letters home. Nothing says I love you to the parentals like a new explanation of benefits and an ER bill, right? Mom gets confirmation of my whereabouts and dad gets assurance that I'm just being a guy, not a gay. Jo Mr. Johnson. Uh, I can bring you into this world, but they sure don't have to love you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Need to take you to x-ray? Make sure you don't have a break. Another adventure. Another ER bill. Double the love coming their way. You're welcome, Mom and Dad. There's no way. Oh, you're just jealous you can't do it. Or maybe he tried and it's still stuck up there. That explains <laughs> the constipated personality traits. Okay, screw you all. I'm gonna get another drink. Oh my god, look who it is. Where? Over by the piano. Oh shit. What? It's the nurse from the ER. There are a lot of nurses in the ER, Mark. I bet your medical record is a few encyclopedias deep. It's probably got a picture on a poster in the med room that says, Beware of horny gay man! <laughs> you know what? I'll have you all know I'm not that desperate. Well, most of the time I'm not that desperate. He's just particularly cute. Okay, and which ER visit is this one from? When I fell out of the tree. Jump. Semantics. He's so cute. And he plays piano. Hey, are we gonna play? Come on. Yeah, okay, okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, seriously? <laughs> God. See, this is why we can't play poker. You've got no game face. Man up. Whatever, you're already more man than the rest of us be. Damn right. No, it's, you want this one? You want? Oh. Game face, Justin, come on! Whatever, I'm out. I gotta go have another visit with the love doctor. Nurse, Justin. Nurses do it with patience. <laughs> <laughs> Michael R.N. You remembered my name. I'm just really good with names is all. It's surprising, considering faces don't seem to be your primary focus. Do you take requests? Do you tip? I might. Then I might take a request. It'll be my final song of the night. I want to hear something that's going to get my body moving and show off my sexy dance moves. <sighs> okay. I have a request for you all from... Oh my god, Justin. Oh my god, Justin. He wishes to move his body for you all. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out. Oh, come on, everybody, he's gone shy. Help him out. You put your right hand in, and you shake it all about. You, you do, do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You do the hokey pokey. You do the ho ho hokey pokey. Come on, Michael R.N., big finish. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well played, Michael R.N. You know, I still don't know your last name. No. No, you don't. Does that mean I have to beg? Uh, I'd rather not have to watch. So you will tell me your last name? No. Then how am I going to track you down? Are you the stalker type? No. Just the interested type. You're not my type. <laughs> What's not your type? My personality? Thanks, Brian. See you in a couple weeks. My what? You're... <laughs> Look, Justin, you're funny and kind of cute, but... But? This is not something I need in my life. This? You're a hot mess. I am hot. I'll give you that. I'm not into one-night stands. Neither am I. I wasn't... I wasn't planning on sleeping over. <sighs> Goodbye, Mark Lauren. 
until our paths cross again. Place your bets, girls. <laughs> and Brooke. Thank you for clarifying. I am all woman. <laughs> Ow. All right. Uh, boys, where's the chocolate? Oh, is somebody on there? Todd, please use your overrated college vocabulary to explain to me why my needs during my menstrual cycle are open to your male privileged opinion. I will have you know that I am currently experiencing contractions which are cutting off the oxygen to my uterus. So if I need some chocolate to increase my serotonin levels, rather than, I don't know, stabbing the nearest male in the room to relieve physical pain, I'd say you're coming out on top. So you had better fork over the chocolate I know you were hiding, and then call your mothers to say, thank you. Thank you for the years of periods you endured and suffered through, just so I may have life. That's what I thought. So what's the deal with the whole chocolate and period thing anyways? It helped Harry Potter when he was facing the Dementors. I can assure you, Harry freaking Potter would rather face an entire army of Dementors than this. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, no uterus, no opinion. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, Drink up, suckers! Uh, that'd better be the damn pizza. I'm wasting away. Only the brain cells you don't feed. Ugh, thank god. Change? No, it's cool. What's, uh, what took you so long? We're having an open mic night down at the bar. It's a madhouse. All <laughs> those singers and wannabe comedians. Uh, is there a, a piano player? The like, tall dude with blonde hair. Just like, got the pectoral muscles. Looks like he might be like a really good hugger. Oh, you mean Michael, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. It's cool, Michael. Michael, Mr. Michael. It's cool, everything's cool. Um, do, uh, is that all getting over soon? Or are people like, are you gonna, maybe there are gonna be some people, or is there like, maybe time for, to go and- Last call's midnight. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thanks, dude. See you around. Yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah. Take that. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go make a run and get us some more beers. There's some beers in the fridge. Then I'm gonna get us some hot wings. Oh. Well, he's just after that nurse from the bar. Are you just <laughs> hungry for another rejection? Come on, Justin. <laughs> I am nothing if not persistent. He will succumb to my charms. Actually, he's just trying to make him come. Over it! <laughs> hey. oh. Drink up, boys. Uh, Come to Mama Chocolate Heaven list. Who made up this game? It's stupid. You! <laughs> Round two. Bet's in, boys. I'm out. I gotta go find my Prince Charming what? before the stroke of midnight. Aw, your mamas would be proud. <sighs> Oh, hey, Michael Aaron. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Justin. You remembered my name. Of course. It's what I call the demons in my dreams. I'm in your dreams? <laughs> it's like we've already had our first date. I hardly qualify you chasing me with long, sharp objects a date. Well, I guess that depends on your idea of fun. Wait, when you said demon, did you mean like Dementor type demon or like Nightmare on Elm Street? Dementor. Yes. Michael R.N., what do I have to do to get you to go on a date with me? Besides a personality lobotomy? I tried that, didn't take. <laughs> Why is everything a joke with you? Why is everything not a joke with you? Okay, fine. Is that a yes? No. <laughs> you asked what you have to do. Since it appears that you're a Harry Potter fan, let's go with the Triwizard Tournament theme. Michael R. Ed, I am impressed. Strangely turned on. You're gonna make me regret this, aren't you? <sighs> complete three tasks and a date you shall have. Don't complete the tasks, no date. Oh, shit just got real. That's right. Okay, um, do you, uh, do you have a pen? Uh, yeah. Mm. 
It's okay, Grandma. You're just gonna feel a little sting. Oh, I don't believe in all this. Ready? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm with you. Right here. Lay it on me, Michael. Right. I want to defy gravity. Defy gravity? Need me to spell that for you? As in Wicked the Musical? <laughs> so you know the show. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it like ten times. Uh -huh. It's true. Yeah? Yeah. Liar. No, I... Yeah? So nobody in all of us... Okay. No wizard okay. that there is or was okay. is ever gonna be. Stop singing. Please stop singing. Sorry. She loved it. <laughs> yeah. Dearest Momsy and Popsicle, always willing to support what I will call field trips, <laughs> all in the name of furthering my education. Field trips in college. Michael R.N., I will do anything to go on a date with you. Make me defy gravity. Okay. Get some good sleep for the gravity defying later. Defy gravity. It's just, just gravity. Just... Shit. Oh, Michael, Michael, motorcycle. How could I get you to fly? As it turned out, as with most cases of my college life, Brooke's feminine intuition was the missing link to solve this puzzle. With her help, and an introduction to an acquaintance of hers, I was ready to win Michael R.N.'s heart, or fall flat on my face in the attempt. What are you doing here? Well, since my knowledge of you is limited to where you work and what you drive, I had to improvise. I may have driven through the parking lot a few times this week looking for your car, but now that I've found you, it is time. Excuse me? Task number one, it is time. Time for what? To defy gravity. <laughs> I'm not getting in a car with you. Fine, be difficult. Will you follow me? <laughs> uh, Justin, I... Please? Okay. But make it quick, I'm back here early. Where are we? Where defying gravity is possible. And Justin, if this- Michael, I assure you, I wish only to complete my first task. Trust me. Trust is earned, Justin. Hey, Justin. Hey. You finally found him. Cool, let's do this. Do what? For someone so smart, you really are slow sometimes. Michael RN, this is Dave. Dave, this is Michael RN. Just Michael is fine. All right, well, you're gonna need to put these on. What is this? That's your defying gravity gear, man. You're gonna fly today, come on. For real? Oh, for real. Oh, um, give me everything in your pockets. Trust me. I know, I know, trust is earned, whatever, just, <laughs> you won't regret it. I'm already regretting it. This is new. I'm doing something for somebody else. And not just to feel good about myself. Not just so the look on their face will trigger a dopamine rush in my brain. But I mean, the look on his face is pretty great. I'm looking at someone who trusts the air to hold him up. Trust isn't light as air. Trust is a burden that you place into the hands of the people you give it. And some of them drop it. Maybe some of them don't. about doing stuff like that as a kid. Yeah, Brooke said you would love it. Who's Brooke? She's a friend from college. She actually hooked this up when I told her about my first task. Oh, so you needed help completing the tasks. Well, Harry needed help from Hermione and Ron. Harry was fighting dragons, mermaids, and dark lords. Okay, well, I'm new at this, Michael R.N. Garner. What? Garner, my last name. Garner. Stop with the R.N. thing. 
Garn. Garn. Nope, I like RN better. What? I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. It's not yeah, like I you can, can control your last name. So, what's my second task, Michael Garner? Uh, Justin, I... <clears throat> what? I, no, lay it on me. Well, I, I need my second... Cruel now. I, I didn't think you'd complete the first one. So, you've been thinking about me. A purple ghost orchid. A, that's, that's not a real thing. That's a real thing? Very real. Okay. Challenge accepted. <laughs> How do I get a hold of you? Uh, you don't. I'll meet you at the bar. Friday. I'm playing. Friday night, then. All right. 48 hours. Yeah. Unless you can't handle it. No, I can I can handle it. Oh. You can handle it. No, yeah, of course I can. I can, yeah. I can well, you, I can handle it. You can handle it? You got this. I got, I got this. Easy. Right? Yeah. You got it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Till then, Justin Johnson. Till then, Michael Garner. That was a purple ghost orchid. It's one of the rarest flowers in the world, found primarily in Cuba. It was extinct for over 20 years, and it's kind of creepy. How does somebody even know about stuff like this? What is with this guy, Justin? I've never seen you like this before. I don't know, he's just different. Well, take it easy, okay? I've never seen this side of you before, and I might actually fall for you myself. Oh, Brooke, I fell for you the minute we met. I just learned that your masculine demeanor doesn't come with the right accessories. <laughs> Asshole. Thanks for the assist. Get out of here before someone actually thinks you're stuck. You're gonna confuse the commoners. Love you. Ditto. Get the octopus? Do you have the octopus? Justin, you got the octopus? Oh, I do. Good fishing. What else you got? Do you have to? Oh, everyone, this is Michael. Michael, this is everyone. Honest to God, you moron. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brooke. As in, arrange the flying lesson, Brooke. One and the same. Thank you so much, that was amazing. All right, I like him, he can stay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mark. Mark. Hey, Ben. Ben. Pleasure to meet you all. Hey, yeah. you too, man. Wow, Justin, polite and cute. You were right about this one. <laughs> Shut up now, please. I'll walk you to your car. Your friends seem nice. Yeah, I can't complain. So I never asked, what are you studying? Life. <laughs> Sorry? I'm studying life. Uh, I've never heard of that major. That's because it only exists for indecisive losers like me. Ah, okay. Disappointed? Uh, no, no judgment here. Come here, I wanna show you something. What? Close your eyes. Why, are you gonna kidnap me? Oh yeah, you foiled all my plans, Michael. No, I just don't want you to ruin all of my hard work and spoil the surprise, so uh, trust me. Your need for trust. Okay. Open your eyes. What is that? It's a ghost, Michael. Honestly, you have a college degree. Okay, I said ghost orchid. No, you said purple ghost orchid. Wh How? I am incredibly crafty. Wow, this is just, wow. So, Michael Garner, would you agree that I have completed the second task required to take oh. you on a proper date? <laughs> Look, Justin, you don't have to. I'm gonna see this through, Michael. I take it seriously. I'm not gonna let you leave until you give me my final task. It can't be done, Justin. That's the point. The seven wonders of the world. I wanna see them. Oh. <laughs> Geez, you really know how to squash Truly, a guy's dreams. Justin, you don't have to do this. I, I'm impressed. I'm flattered, and and I'm practically speechless. Yes, I will go on a date with you. No. No? I, I mean, yes, but not until I complete my third task. I, I gotta go check on something. 
What? I'll, oh. I'll, I'll text you later. Uh, Justin, uh, don't you need my number? No, I already got it, dude. Wait, excuse me? While you were defying gravity, I called my phone from your phone. I've just been waiting for your permission to use it. <laughs> it's all about trust, Michael. I'll talk to you soon. Justin Johnson. Yes, sir, of course, sir. Wouldn't dream of it, sir. As always, sir, without fail. Very grateful, sir. You also... S Good night, Father. Sir, your um, your humble chariot awaits. Humble chariot. My other horses were being stabled, so you know I had to just, just work with me here. Michael. Okay, show me to thine chariot, good sir. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that just sounded so gay coming from you. Are you playing the pot or the kettle? Okay, a little sassy. Not sure if I'm gonna add that to the positives or the negatives list. you. So, we have to drive a little bit out for this one. Do you trust me? I willingly got in the car, didn't I? <laughs> Progress. <laughs> Just as long as you promise to drop a line to my parents telling them where to find the body. <sighs> Michael, what kind of monster do you think I am? <laughs> Of course I'll drop a line to your parents. Hey, uh, we're getting pretty close, so I need you to close your eyes. What? Michael, relax. If I was gonna do something crazy, I would've stopped at that field 10 minutes ago where they've got a nice enclosed area. It's really soft. Remind dirt. me again why I got in this car. Whoa, look out! Just kidding, you're fine. I got you. Mm -mm. You didn't open your eyes. Okay, we're almost there. All right. Open your eyes. Welcome to the wonders of the world. This is a miniature golf course, Justin. <laughs> no, it's not, Michael. This is my Triwizard victory. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, I don't think the Statue of Liberty ever made the natural wonders list. Okay, well, as long as we're keeping score, there are 77 different natural wonders from 11 different lists, as well as 11 individual countries, each with their own seven wonders inside of them. So that's like 154 wonders of the world. Okay. Yeah, I did my research. Well. Here, with a little imagination, you'll see that we have uh, the Roman Colosseum, mm -hmm. the Great Wall of China, right mm -hmm. over, over there. And, and uh, over here we have the Leaning Tower of Pisa, obviously. Obviously. Um, the minarets of um, Montauk. And then um, uh, the Panama Canal. 
And this is uh, clearly Stonehenge. Clearly. <laughs> exactly, thank you for going with yeah. it, Michael. Okay. Uh... Oh no, 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 please. I, I brought you here, my friend. Today I'm inviting you to Sally Forth and experience the wonder. You are beyond ridiculous. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. <sighs> Don't feel bad. Everybody's really bad at this game when they first play. But uh, let me show you how it's done. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> no. Are you okay? Uh, I'm All fine. Right. I was just, I'm I was just warming I'm up. I was in your way. I'm just warming That's up. My, that was okay. my bad. That'll do. <laughs> Thanks. It's actually, you get extra points when you go in the water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey. What? It's no good, huh? No. Don't be cheating. Hmm? No, you're good. What are you? I was just fixing up the score. It's good. I think we're all set now. Liar. Hey, hey! Okay, I'm coming down. Don't fall, how about that? Oh, don't, oh, don't fall. Don't. God, you know, until just now I hadn't even, thank you. Oh, oh no. Ah! <laughs> no. I don't know where it went. Oh. I don't know, I think it's gone. You got, give me you got, <laughs> jerk. You're a jerk. Oh. Any, at some point she's gonna get it in. <laughs> oh. Careful, careful. I uh, got this. Yeah, I know. I just I feel like it's very easy to fall off of this. For you? Or, yeah. <laughs> oh, how are we doing? All right, so I'm obviously ahead of you because... Uh, I don't know. You have way less points than me, dude. I'm like soaring. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'll wait. Yeah, just Thanks. take your time. I just... It was... You ready? Are you good? <laughs> 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 I give. Check out, I taught him how to do a trick. Hold on, he's really good at it. He's kind of nervous. <laughs> Come on! Oh. <laughs> okay, you win. You win. Okay. Wait, I win. I should do yeah. more cardio. to you. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Keep. Thanks. Cute. Cute. Hey, uh, not as a date or anything, but I'm ridiculously hungry and, and they have okay. these really great hot dogs here. I can go for a hot dog? <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> so why is this not a date? You'll know when I take you on a date. Duly noted. So, can I ask you what you plan to do after college? After? You mean I actually have to leave? <laughs> oh gosh. Why is your wall so high? I spent a lot of time building this wall, and the view is lovely from my side, I'll have you know. So what you're saying is you might invite me in? <laughs> Would you come in if I did? I might enjoy the view as well. Then I might consider an invitation. But it's a mess right now, and I'll need some time to tidy up, so. Hmm. We have two. I can wait. Good to know. Thanks. Thanks. You're never gonna be able to eat another hot dog for the rest of your life. So, why nursing? Oh, uh, there was a time when I, uh, I needed a lot of medical attention and the way they made me feel safe, taken care of. I knew that was something I wanted to do for others. Can I ask what happened? You can ask. Someday I might tell you. We all have walls, Justin. 
OF. They have my favorite ride. Come on, let's go do it. Oh, uh, I don't know, Justin. I got this inner ear thing. I don't inner, really do rides what? like Come that. Come on, let's go. It'll be awesome. What? No, you're going to love it. It's so much I fun. <laughs> Come on, you're going to love it. I, it's going to be awesome. I got Over here. Come on. These are, yeah, yeah safety. Everything's, you're going to be fine. Do I need a hard helmet? All right. Great. Wait, she keeps... go sideways? It's gonna go a little faster. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> oh. hey. You okay, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know, Justin. Faster! What is, come on! Shut what is this, up. the teacups? Let's do it! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> is it over? No, it's just getting started. What? Oh. No. <laughs> oh god. Ah, we're going full tilt. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. You love rides like this? I love this. My right. eyes are <laughs> shut. No, you got to open your eyes. No, you have to close them. Look, it's straight up. Straight oh. up. Straight up. Oh, I'm starting to feel it. Are you going to throw up? No. Are you sure you're not going to throw up? <laughs> Uh, this is the hard part, this is it. So all the blood is gonna rush away from your brain. Just, uh, just go with it. Maybe no more rides. You okay, Michael? Uh... You okay, Mike? Michael? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh shit. That's uh I'm sorry dude. Um do you need a oh god, thank you. Here, I got you a napkin. Michael? Take me home, Justin. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. No problem. We'll just go real slow. I got you. Just go sit down. Here we go. <sighs> okay. You're still here. Of course. You're easier to take advantage of while you're asleep. <laughs> Should I be worried? Not until the pictures finish uploading or the bruises start showing. Dope. <laughs> Definitely adding that to my list of positives. You were looking very focused on what you were writing there. Oh, it's just random thoughts and quotes and stupid junk. Care to share? 
People build walls not to keep others out, but to see who's willing to break them down. I like you like this. I like me like this too. Stay for dinner? Did you just ask me on our first date? If you consider a dinner consisting of soup and bread a date. I don't know, I'll have to check my calendar. Will you stay? As long as you'll have me. Here. Hey, Brooke. Right on time. What? Sit with me, Michael. Well, actually, I'm here to pick up Justin. Justin was in a fight. What? Please sit down, Michael. You're kind of freaking me out. Where's Justin? Mark took him to the ER. Oh, I'm gonna... No, he doesn't want you there. Why? There are two things in Justin's life that he has come to count on. First, being that you are always five minutes early for your <sighs> dates. And second, that his father will call him twice every quarter. Wait, what does this have to do with him getting in a fight? What does he want from his father? Same thing we all do, I suppose. His ER visits typically follow that phone call. You met him on one of those days. So he got in a fight with his dad? No, that's not a fight he's ready for. This time it was the wall that took the brunt of it. <laughs> Score one for the wall. Mark texted about a half hour ago and said that the x-ray showed no broken bones, so they'll be back soon. I've been told to keep you company until then. You're a good friend, Brooke. I know. <laughs> he needs good friends. Yeah. But he also needs a lot of things I can't give him. No, I, I care about him. I know you do. So how do I get him to open up? Just be there for him when he's ready. And don't forget about my party next Friday. <laughs> I expect to see you both there. Promise. <sighs> My drink. Fill your hot cocoa, oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. No, it's okay. Right. Right. He plays this too much. Come on. He plays this too much. Hey, hey, hey. Sister Mary. That's beginner's look right there. Are you ready for this double spin? Hey, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, man. That's not. Whatever. Good game. Are we playing again, fellas? Yeah. Again. So what's the plan for break now that finals are over? I told the parentals that I had to stay here a little longer to get a head start on next term. I'll fly back a few days after Christmas to avoid the rush. And what did Michael say about the recent wall incident? I've managed to mostly avoid the topic. He's not ready to carry my baggage yet. Well, at least give him the option to decline instead of just assuming he wouldn't want to. Withholding information can never lead to good things, Justin. Well, I'm breaking it to him slowly, then. It's been almost two months. Yeah, exactly. Two months? He's not ready for that yet. I think I just contracted diabetes watching that. Am I sensing a midnight Cinderella disappearance? We agreed to leave at midnight so that he could take me to the coast for the weekend. Oh. Relax, oh hormonal one. We haven't even done that yet. Yeah, right. No, seriously? Damn, Justin, I'm impressed. Well, he's different. I mean, it's about more than just sex. I've had all that and I want something more. I think I might actually cry. My boy is growing up. Shut up. It's time, good sir, to make our departure. Thank you, Brooke, for inviting us to your fair castle. But now we must make our leave to land far, far away. It's scary how well matched you two are. Ignore her. She's just jealous. Drive safely. I love you. Ditto. The Pacific Ocean is deafening. 
like an airplane taking off, like windows down on a highway, like silence. I'm not good in silence. I like talking or shouting or, or anything that will be distracting. But when we drown out the noise of all our insecurities where we finally have to confront ourselves, like a Treyu at the Southern Oracle, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could be brave with someone like him by my side. Or maybe on my own. But having him here doesn't hurt. He's my luck dragon. Good morning. Morning. Have you been awake a long time? About an hour. Mm. Uh, you're writing something there. I felt inspired. I've never woken up next to somebody without, you know, being hung over or preparing to take the glorious walk of shame. <laughs> You make small noises when you sleep. Aw, oh, you're making that up. Believe what you want, sir, but I just wrote a sonnet about it. <clears throat> Ode to a snore. I do not snore. Oh, okay, that must have been the other guy I was sleeping next to last <laughs> it night. It must have been. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. okay, you win. Really? Okay. A cross between a... Chainsaw and a dinosaur with a sinus cold. <laughs> you should be careful what you ask for. Wow. Oh! What is this? For you. Did I forget like an important date or something no, already? Of course not. I just saw this and thought of you. Open it. Come on. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I know sometimes words don't come easily for you, but I know writing does. This got me through some tough times. Such as? Well, I told you I skipped high school. It wasn't because I wanted to. I wanted what every teenager wanted. Football games, dances, a good looking photo in the yearbook. <laughs> Wasn't meant to be. There was a time when I trusted too easily. It almost cost me everything. His name is Brian. He moved to our city at the start of seventh grade. Popular, instantly. Liked by everyone. You know, he picked me first in kickball. <laughs> we became immediate friends. One night, he and I were out on the field just talking about <laughs> God knows what. And, uh, you know, it was getting late, so we decided to leave. He grabbed my hand, and before I could process what was happening, he kissed me. Every nerve in my body felt so alive, and I never thought I'd actually find someone. And before I could say it out loud, I heard this banging and yelling. I turned to find the resident bullies walking toward us. You know, they were throwing around the typical gay and homo slurs. So I grabbed Brian's hand and tried to run away. <laughs> He pulled his hand out and said, what are you doing? Why'd you kiss me? Then he turned to the bullies and said, hey, this gay punk just kissed me against my will. <laughs> it was 
so two of them grabbed me and pinned me to the ground. The other started to kick and hit me over and over. And once he had his fun, he turned to Brian and said, your turn. Show this punk how we feel about homos. I blacked out. The next thing I remembered was waking up in the ICU. After I left the hospital, my parents thought it would be best to homeschool me through the rest of middle school. After that, it was my choice, high school or college. And the rest is, as you say, history. <laughs> Michael, I'm... I'm so sorry. Don't be. It was a long time ago. Thank you. Thank you for not pushing for not grilling, for being patient, for sharing. Just promise me you'll use these hands for writing it out and not taking it out on inanimate objects that keep whooping your ass. Hey, I don't know. I've gotten some pretty good sneak attacks. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Come on, let's go down to the beach. Justin? It's about time. I'm starving. What is this? Come on in. I built a fort. <laughs> exactly when did I start dating a toddler? <laughs> exactly when did I start dating an old man? Oh. What'd you get? A fave. My fave? Glass noodle? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. No. Thanks. <laughs> How do you do that? What? I've been naked in front of more men than okay, I can remember. I really don't need to hear But I've never this. felt more exposed than when you look into my eyes. <sighs> Stirring of a soul. What? The eyes are the windows to the soul. When peering in, you can see it move. Often it will hide, afraid, alone, wrongly judged, shamed into a corner. When it knows that it's loved, without reserve or condition, accepts itself and shines from within the eyes once again. <laughs> Where did you learn that? I wrote it. Really? I told you. I had a lot of stuff to work out for myself once, too. It's beautiful. Wait, did you just say you love me? <laughs> yeah. I guess I did. I love you. <laughs> Ditto. Ditto? <laughs> Michael, this isn't easy for me. I'm not. Hey. Mm. 
shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, uh, yeah, here. <laughs> Fuck it. Wait. Michael. I assure you, my intentions here were completely honorable. I mean, not completely honorable because I would totally take advantage of you, but it wasn't my intention to seduce you with my mad fort building skills, uh-huh. so if you're not ready to do this. Did it ever occur to you that I was planning on seducing you? Well, I will have you know I'm not some kind of floozy, but I am incorrigible. So can we just? I would be honored to take advantage in any way possible. (laughs) Just get over here. Justin? Father only wants two things, straight A's and a straight son. These are the two non-negotiables in our relationship, the two unforgivable shortcomings that What are you doing? Just enjoying the breeze and keeping a promise. My favorite getaway. Close your eyes. Oh, now? (laughs) Okay, okay. Listen to the sound of the crashing waves. Feel your body drift into another dimension. You're adorable. And poetic. (laughs) You do the same. I guess. (laughs) You could, you know. Write stories and such. I don't think so. My dad... I just, I don't think so. I don't think your dad has come to realize that there's so much more to you than what he wants. (laughs) Oh, he realizes it. He's just only interested in removing the parts that keep me from becoming the perfect son. You astonish me how you breeze through your classes with hardly a care and still manage to maintain the grade point average you have. I had worked so hard to get through college and the nursing program. You, little to no effort. It's people like you who piss the rest of us off. Hey, I can't help it if I'm naturally brilliant. Yeah. (laughs) Do you realize if you applied yourself like, actually applied yourself to something, like writing, for instance, just how good you would be? I know. I just... 
I just don't want to make the other people in my graduating class feel badly about themselves. So I have to contain my genius. And, mm -hmm. You know, I can't have my parental units thinking I'm actually going to make something of my life. Ah, uh, yes. The field trip paying ER bills supporting parents. They are the reason I exist. Or at least that's what they tell me. You know, I don't actually have any memories of the inception. <laughs> I'm not pushing, Justin. But just know you can tell me anything. I know. I love you. Ditto. Can we stay here? I'm saying is Shh. I just need to complete this thought. There. What were you saying? All I'm saying is you can't draw a fair comparison of the two. Valentine's Day is just another excuse for oversensationalized consumerism. Way to kill the romantic vibe. Not kill, Michael, but tame. I mean, being romantic shouldn't be limited to only one day per year. It's only limited if you rely on it that way. Otherwise, it's just a fun way to show someone they matter. Well, I would never rely on a 24-hour excuse for a holiday to be romantic. But, I also wouldn't be the idiot who refused to take advantage of an opportunity to let someone know they mattered. <laughs> Jerk. Not the response I was hoping for. After that debate, and here I made you this nice lunch and got you something. You got me something? What is it? Let me see it. Let me no, see it. Let me see it. Let me I don't want to show you now. Please. No, you'll just have to wait till after Brooke's party. After? Are you serious? Very. I have to get dressed. Thank you for the rose. Fine. I'll just sit here and work on my assignment and try not to be disillusioned about the extent to which I matter to someone on Valentine's Day. I assure you it will be worth the wait. You can't just do that. You know what it does to me. Oh, I know. Believe me. I know. Is that the new schedule for spring? Yep. It's time to set forth a course of educational goals for another quarter. Interesting choices. So what is the goal here, Justin? To avoid adult life as long as possible. You mean as long as your dad has an open checkbook? And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Just, let's just get ready. You know what? No, you don't get to say something like that to me and then just walk away with a nothing. It just seems like maybe you would be ready to actually, I don't know, do something. Take a little responsibility. Be responsible? I've been nothing but the model son for that oh-so-proud father of mine. Look, I know this is a touchy subject for no, you. No, you know what? You get to be a lot of things to me, Michael, but you do not get to judge me. I am not judging oh, you. Oh, really? I... You know what? We're gonna put this on pause. Pause? A pause, Justin. It means we're gonna stop for now and get ready for the party that you promised we would help set up. I'm not going to do this in a hurried manner. It's too damn important. Fine. Pause. Unpause? Is that breaking a rule? My father has had my life in a vice ever since he conceded to my gay tendencies. I opened my journal to you, I tried to let you look inside, and believe me when I tell you, that wasn't easy. That man goes out of his way to remind me of his rules and expectations twice a quarter, like every other loving father. I might not qualify to be his pride and joy, but I have earned every penny I get. And whether he knows it or not, I'm collecting on a debt that he owes me. 
pause. Pause. I am sorry, Justin. I'm sorry that life has handed you a fate that will forever subject you to being judged. I'm sorry we live in a world where being gay either means you are a sideshow freak or the cute puppy in the window. We deserve better than to live our lives as some sort of public display. We may not be able to control how we are treated, but we do have the ability to change how we treat ourselves. At some point, regardless of the wrongs put upon you, the only person that owes you anything is you. Pause. I can see you have something to say, Justin, just to unpause. No, you know what? You don't get to be a condescending asshole, okay? And you don't get to decide who owes me what. This is not your life, and you don't understand. Because uh, you won't let me understand, Justin. Well, maybe I have a good reason for that, Michael. And yet? No, you're... no and yet, okay? It's not up to you. Justin. I am doing the best that I can Justin. right now, and I do not Justin. need you judging me for Justin. it. No, just no. I can't be what you expect right now. And maybe you need to decide if you can accept that. I'm gonna go help Brooke. Pause. Sorry? Cut the innocent act, mister, and spill. What did you do? What makes you think I did something? Well, considering the fact that your man looks as miserable as you do, I'm gonna guess you two are fighting. And chances are good you could resolve it. Well, for your information, we're not technically, as of this moment, fighting because we're on a pause. A pause? Okay, you are making this party a serious downer. You need to get your ass out there and fix things. He loves you. And I know you love him too, even if you can't say the words. He is the best thing to come your way since moving here. Hey, since it's uh, Valentine's Day, I'd like to sing a song for someone very special in my life.
Can we unpause? Justin, Michael, I... Oh, thank you. That was beautiful. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? Because I shouldn't push you. Everyone has to find their own way, and it's not fair to push my agenda onto your life. I don't know what my agenda is. I just know I want to be on yours. You are the best part of my agenda, Justin. <laughs> Would I eat space food? On Mars. <laughs> what? Would I? Maybe on Saturn. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. Am I a unicorn? Yeah, am I a dragon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hey, 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 drink, up. drink, drink. <laughs> All right, that's it. I know you two are cheating. What? Brooke, I am wounded. I am truly deeply hurt by your accusation. Yeah. Hey, I think she may be right. You oh. two are highly suspect. Oh. Don't give me the puppy dog eye look, misters. <laughs> ah, crap. I need to call my parents. I forgot that this next weekend is parents' weekends. Oh, man. Parents' weekend. What a nightmare that was. Tell me about it. Are your parents coming? You're talking about my parents, right? Well, I just... No, maybe. they will not be joining no. us. Okay. I'm actually going to go see them this weekend. Apparently it's time for another family meeting. And next weekend? I thought Just that for 24 hours, I promise. And then I'm yours for all of spring break to do whatever you wish. <laughs> no, oh, hey! Oh. Excuse me! Are we going to get back to playing the game or what? Yes, definitely. Right, 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 right. Next round, inanimate objects. I'm watching you uh, too. Oh. oh, she's watching us. Oh no, what are we going to do? We can't do anything while she's hey, watching hey, us. Hey, 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 hey. Jeez. <laughs> Justin Johnson. Sorry. What? It's his dad. Hey. Hi. So, that was the father. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> I wish. It's never simple, is it? It doesn't have to be as hard as he makes it. Agreed. I just wish I didn't. I know. Then why? Because he's your dad. Who doesn't want their dad to support them? <laughs> Come on. Let's go whip their butts with these inanimate objects. <laughs> yeah. Justin? Michael. Hey. Are these your parents? Uh, yeah. Greg and Cynthia Johnson. This is Michael Garner. He's a friend. Uh, Michael, you are uh, going to university as well? Well, actually... Yeah, he's in the engineering program. Hmm. Unusual uniform for an engineering student. Oh, well, this is my... Well, he's a tech at the ER in the hospital. <clears throat> are you working tonight? Yeah. My friend canceled plans, so I picked up an extra shift. Oh, so that must be where you met each other. Yeah. Justin could never hack it in a program as complicated as engineering. Hmm, something like that. You know, I've paid so many bills to that ER, <laughs> I could fund it for a century. <laughs> well, he does seem accident prone. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure to meet you both. Uh, I really should get to work. <laughs> Gotta pay those tuition bills. Ah, uh, you know what, I just, I just realized I have to ask Michael a question about a paper. We're going to be in a big group project as soon as spring term starts, so I'll be right back. Michael! Michael, wait! What do you want, Justin? Please, just let me explain. 
Explain what? The lie? Or the lie to cover up the lie? Or the fact that you're ashamed of me and what I do, that everything you said in there was complete and utter bullshit. No, Michael, I swear I'm not ashamed of you. And I haven't lied to you. Not about anything important. Good to know. <laughs> I am not a violent person, Justin. I swear to God, if you do that again... Justin! Please. Please. There is an explanation. What I think is that you're a lying, hiding, scared little kid. And I don't date liars or kids, okay? No, you don't understand. I was trying to protect you. I am not a child, Justin. I don't require your protection. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that my parents were going to be here. I just, I didn't know how to... You didn't? <laughs> Please, you run that mouth a million miles a minute and somehow this didn't come up? How am I supposed to fit this into a normal conversation? <laughs> I knew that if I said anything about you being a nurse, that I would have to sit there and listen to that man talk about you and judge you and I wasn't going to let that happen, okay? I'm not going to let those people hurt someone I love. What do you say? I'm so proud of you, Michael, and what you do, and to be with you. And I... No, you weren't about to let them hurt someone, someone I love. <laughs> I love you, God damn it! And I'm not gonna let you walk away just because hey. that son of a bitch. Hey, I love you too. I have to go back inside before they come out. We'll talk tomorrow. If I open this, are you gonna shut it again? <laughs> I'll let you go. Just for tonight. Trauma room 12, WW medical out. Susan, code three on the way, respiratory arrest. Trauma 12? Yes. Michael, can you help me set up, please? Copy that. Shane, can you have RT join us, please? You got it. Hey, right. Non-conscious male found down in a bar bathroom. Possible alcohol poisoning. He aspirated and vomited, intubated in the field. They're here. Arrival 106 AM. One, two, three. Justin? Justin? As in your Justin? Yeah. Maybe you should step out? No. Okay. Doc, his BP is 105 over 60 with a normal sinus rhythm. Palpable pulses rate of 110. Unable to sustain respirations, we innovated him in the field. Had 100 of sucks, AD betomidate, bagged all the way here at a rate of 20. Unsure how long he was down on the floor before he was found? We did get an 18 gauge in his left AC with saline running. While in his back pocket, I identified him as Justin Johnson. We're very familiar with Mr. Johnson. He's somewhat of a frequent flyer. 18 gauge, right AC? Thank you. Found him. Let's get a verse at drip started. Got it. Shane, can you help me with the clothes? Sure thing, Mike. Order a chest x-ray, 12 lead, standard Raybo blood work. Also include lactate and a VBG, alcohol levels, and drug screen. Got it, Dr. Stone. Thank you, Karen. Dr. Stone, I have Justin set on a rate of 12, 600 tidal volume, 100% in a PEEP of 5. Shane, if I remember correctly, his parents are his primary contact. They live out of state. Actually, they're in town. Is there a cell phone number? Yes, to both. All right, I'll call the parents when I'm done. Dr. Stone, how would you like this running? Let's start with two milligrams and titrate as needed. All right, first set started. Dr. Stone, 12 lead. Jane, call ICU and get a bed for Mr. Johnson. I'm on it. Let's get the first bag of Vanco one gram started and keep the saline coming. Copy. Hi, this is Michael from the ER. Dr. Stone just ordered Vanco one gram for Justin Johnson. Room 12. 
Thank you. He's much more stable. They'll see how the pneumonia is responding to the antibiotics. We're monitoring the labs to check the liver and kidney functions. And if those look good, we can get him off the respirator within the next 24 hours. Do you have any questions? No. Let me know if you need anything. Just a few more minutes, Michael. Thank you, Chris. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, uh, I'm Michael. We know who you are, and what you are to Justin. How? My wife saw you with him. The display you put on in the parking lot. In public. We only came back here to check on him before we head back home. You're leaving? Yeah, of course. He'll be fine. Yes, I think he will, but he needs you. Please stay Nonsense! He told me last night he doesn't need me. I told him to call me when he's ready to make the right choices. The right choices, or your choices? Let's go. Please, don't turn your back on him. You're the last person I want to talk to about my son, Justin. Your son wants you in his life. What makes you think you know what he wants? Because I love him. I told him last night. You and your kind, you don't understand love. How could you? It's unnatural. He has to choose. Your lifestyle, or mine. What kind of life is that exactly? Being gay is not a choice, Mr. Johnson. Do you honestly think someone would choose a life where they are subjected to hatred and prejudice? Please, Greg, let's go. We don't want to be late. <sighs> oh no, please, don't be late. Just because your son My is- Justin will be fine. And then he will come home. And he will live the lifestyle that he's supposed to live. He can't do any of this without me. Actually, I believe he can achieve more without you holding him down. He is one of the smartest, most articulate, incredibly brave, strong, and loving men I have ever met. And all he asks, wants, from you is to accept him and love him for who he is. All he is. All, as you put it is not what he should be. According to you. According to society, Mr. Garner. That is changing, Mr. Johnson. He has two options, Mr. Garner. Your way or mine. I think, Mr. Johnson, he will choose his own way. Then that will be his loss. Cynthia? No, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. I am most certain the loss will be yours. Take my coat and pull you close. Know the rain will take its toll. We come quick when the odds are stacked. Fake religion hitching by a rope. Say. Missing most when the snow is here Boots and bars, smoking mirrors Fearless words for faithful guides They came in late to sweep up after us
There is nothing more fragile and vulnerable than the human race in times of crisis. During times of illness and recovery, there is an experience of genuine and true acceptance streaming from a deep-rooted thankfulness. In those moments, I am not judged. I am not a politically corrected being. I am not a labeled sexuality. I'm just a person who was not well and needed to be made whole again. Michael, I'm not an invalid. I can do things for myself. Your body being weak doesn't mean you are weak, okay? Hey! Hey, Jay. Hey. You look good, man. Thanks. Never pull that shit again. It's so help me. I, I won't. <laughs> Better not. Ah. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I I won't. I promise. You damn right you do. I'm so sorry. You are loved, you know. I know. And we will get through this together. We? Well, of course. There is way too much testosterone driving this ship, okay? Oh, okay. Mama's got the love and the estrogen. Yeah. I love you both. We love, love you too. too. So what happens now? I don't know. I'm gonna stay here with Michael for a little while and we'll see. Yeah. Let's move this to the living room. You really should be resting. Michael. And Justin. He's right. So get your butt on that couch, Justin Johnson. Okay. Here's to the end of a successful junior year, and a senior year we'll never forget. Year, year, year. So, what is the plan? Will you be joining us? Uh, not as a senior, at least not at first, but it should only take me a couple of terms to catch up. Are you saying you're actually going to get a degree in something? Sire Tobin, you wound me. Creative writing. <laughs> Who knew, right? Oh my god, I can actually see that. Congrats, man. I'm glad things are looking up. Thanks. Yeah, it's not everything I hoped and dreamed it would be, but actually it's better. And I get to wake up to his beautiful face in the morning instead of your ugly mug, so. What he means to say is he found a way to bring the ER to him. Yeah, good thing too. Uh, without the parents' financial support, no more trips to the ER. Does that include school expenses? Yeah. <clears throat> they, uh, they cut me off. But I've applied for financial aid. In between that, grants and scholarships, I should be able to get out of school without too much debt if I stick to a budget. I'm sorry, I thought you were Justin Johnson. Have you seen him? <laughs> he saved my life. He, uh, he told us about that night. Yeah, I mean, that too, but I'm just, I'm not the same Justin Johnson I used to be. I mean, obviously I'm still me, but with him, everything else is different. I just hope I can do as much for him one day. You do, Justin. You have. It's time. It's time. Okay. So I'll just go do this. Do you, um, do you take requests? Do you, uh, tip? <laughs> I might. Then I might take a request. Okay, but, um, <clears throat> I'm kind of a budget these days, so. Well, since you're kind of cute, <laughs> what'll it be? My request is simple. I just need you to, um, rise up, R get up, R rise up, get up off the, okay. off the piano bench and just go, <laughs> go sit with our friends, okay? <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, hey everybody. This is um it's gonna be a little different than what you're used to. This one's for you, Michael. Once there was a time I was lost. No future plans were foreseen. Reckless, angry, no matter the cost. My soul in me. Scattered out on the floor The pieces, they matter no more Lost, lonely, behind the disguise Then came one look in your eyes The tree, the limb, the ER stop A nurse, a look, it stopped my heart so sure was I that he'd concede The games I played he won indeed A song, three tasks, the risk, my heart A flight, a ghost, a ride, a start You're all I want, you're all I need The path is paved You healed my heart, you saved my life, you stirred my soul, you picked me up and made me whole. You are my one true love, you are my one true love. What you have given me, I'll never be able to repay. But I'm ready to try. I'm ready to spend the rest of my life trying. You've given me more than I could ever have hoped for. Michael, my heart really does stop when you look at me. <laughs> Wherever you go, that's where I belong. No regrets, no turning back. Michael Garner, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. We're getting married. <laughs> the health of an ecosystem depends on diversity. And we, the great naked apes of the earth, might try to remember this. Remember that the human experience is made more beautiful by the contribution of individuals who enrich our lives and expand our perspectives. Not by being normal, but by being weird and unique and different from ourselves. So I came out of the trees. I stopped living vicariously on branches. I quit living in fear of an uncertain future. And I took the offer of an outstretched hand. An offer that came without condition or restriction. I stopped running circles around the limitations of my parents' bigotry, and I found that I was standing on a solid foundation that did not require their validation or acceptance. 
I stopped trying to fix everything I was told was wrong with me and was finally able to embrace myself and allow myself to have what I deserved. Then I found my purpose, maybe everyone's purpose, to love ourselves and one another for who we are, all that we are. Making up our own definition for love, for a home, for success, for family. Strengthening relationships with those that accept us for the one and only essential factor, the one quality we all have in common. We are human. That sense of equality and unconditional acceptance allows our souls to stir and shine, to find support, give, and care for one another. Our biological ties are not always the ones that will carry us when we are weak, nor are they the ones we can count on to celebrate when we succeed. We don't always get a happily ever after, but if we hold on, we can achieve a happy after everything else. My father wanted only two things.